Ever wonder the difference between MBBS and MD? Hello and welcome. My name is Judare Holome. I'm a Fanaya medical student here in Nigeria. I make videos about medicine, lifestyle, and motivation. In today's video, I'll be telling you the difference between MD and MBBS. Stay tuned. So, first thing you need to know is that both MBBS and MD are both route of becoming a medical doctor in fact mbbs and MB md they are both degrees awarded to medical uh, students when they complete their medical training but it is not the same these certificates are not the same let's define these two terms mbbs means bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery why md means um daughter of medicine why mbbs is awarded in the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth countries. MD is awarded in the United States and other countries like Canada. Obviously, Nigeria is a Commonwealth nation, so it follows the route of the UK. The another striking thing you need to know is that both of these certificates are awarded to medical students at the completion of their medical degree. And both the MD route and the MBBS route are both route of becoming a medical doctor but there are some difference that i'll be sharing with you that you might, might not have known before now so please stay tuned and enjoy this video it's interesting to know that mbbs takes a period of six years to be gotten while md takes just a period of four years but if you should rank it actually md ranks a bit higher i will explain this even though they are just um, both they are both certificates awarded to medical students when they complete their medical training. What is MBBS? MBBS means Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. It is a um, certificate awarded to medical students in the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth countries when they complete their medical training. And this medical training usually take a period of five years and some more to six years. For instance, here in Nigeria, it takes a period of six years to complete. By the time you complete your six years studies, you don't necessarily uh, get certified immediately. You have to go through internship. There is one year internship that we usually call a house mastership or house job. It's just to help you consolidate on the skills you are on the clinical skills you have gathered through your clinical years and to help you increase your clinical acumen. Because usually after this internship, you now proceed to go and do your youth service where you can be posted to a village where you are the only doctor so if you are not well equipped you may not be very functional when you get there so it is after you do your house job that you you will not be finally certified as a medical officer that can practice uh, as a general practitioner or if you don't want to practice as a general practitioner you can proceed to go and do residency but in the MD pathway, once you send, once you are done with your three steps, which you will be writing as you progress in your medical school in the US, obviously four years, though they can make it longer for people that can't cope, you can spread your courses out. You know, US is very flexible when it comes to education, but typically it is four years. So if you satisfy the board, the licensing board, they are going to give certify you you can then proceed to get matched into the residency program. For MBBS, you can get into a medical school straight from your high school or straight from your secondary school. You can get admitted into the medical school. Then you do your year one where you will do um, the general sciences, biology, chemistry, physics. You do your general studies. Then you move on to second year where you do your anatomy physiology biochemistry and after that you write your you after that you write your first medical board exam then you move to this next stage where you do your pharmacology and pathology then you write another medical board exam you move to the next stage where you do your pediatrics and obstetrics you write your medical board exam then you move to the last phase where you com conclude your medicine and surgery and then community medicine depending on your school then you write your last medical board exam then after all this you you get awarded your bachelor of medicine 
and Bachelor of Surgery. But in the United States, it is not like that. You can't just get into a medical school straight from high school or straight from um, um, your secondary school, as we call it in Nigeria. First of all, after your high school, after your secondary, that's your secondary school, you have to get into a university and get a four years um, degree, maybe in psychology, in biochemistry. Like, okay, let's use um, Ben Kasi as a case study. After I finished high school, he had to go to Yale to acquire a, a four years degree in, in uh, psychology. And when he completed that degree, he had to write the MCAT, that's the exam they write to enter medical school in U United St uh, States. He had to write MCAT, then he got into medical school, that was in the University of Michigan, to read medicine and surgery. Then after four years, he got awarded MD. And what do they do during that four years? Unlike uh, in our system here, MBBS, where you get to write, where you get to um, write series of exams. We write in total, we write in four board exams. The first one you write in 300 level, the second one you write in 400 level, the third one you write in 500 level, then the last one you will get to write in 600 level. That's, I'm talking of the MBBS um, pathway now, which is applicable to the UK and here in Nigeria. But for the MD um, process or the MD route, they write just three exams. They have three steps. And that's majorly the, okay, let's use United States for an example. They call it the United States Medical Licensing and Board Exams. So that's the popular USMLE. In the period of these four years, that's when you get to write those exams. You would have, by the time you have completing your uh, fourth year, you'd have been exposed to step one, step two, and step three. And when you finish your MD program, you can get matched into residency, or you can practice as a general practitioner. So what do you think? Do you think the MD pathway is easier than the MBBS pathway? And if you think so, what are your reasons? Can you kindly comment them below? I would like to see your reasons, and I'll also reply to them. For me, I actually think the MBBS pathway is sweeter because you are going straight from secondary school to portray your passion. Unlike going through, going to get a four years degree before coming back to med school. Ah, so I hope this video was helpful. Hope you learned something. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. I would love you to be a part of this community. Thank you for watching. Do have a lovely day.